Hi, it's me Gabe over here from Advanced Test Equipment Corp and today we're going to be going over the how-to video for the Webasto 900EX. This high voltage DC test system can charge and discharge up to 250 kilowatts and up to 900 volts. It has a unique two channel configuration so you could use the channels independently or put them in parallel for double the power. So first we're going to go over the accessories and we're going to get started on how to turn the unit on and go over through a few of its basic functions. Next we're going to go over the standard accessories that are included with the Webasto 900EX rental. The first is going to be two pairs of black and red detachable plugs that you're going to connect your leads onto the front panel. Then you're going to have a pair of 25 foot RS-232 cables that you can use with the AC console, the CAN bus, and the RS-232 terminals. The user manual is included on a USB stick. A pair of terminals that you could connect remote voltage sense wires to. And you're going to have five interlocks that are installed on the front panel of the machine. Next, before we plug in the AC input, we're going to go see this label that's going to show that our particular serial number is configured for 480 volts, 3 phase, and 60 hertz. So each one of these will give you all the different input and output ratings. And as you can see here, our facility AC input is now connected to the side of our 900EX. And right here is actually the on-off switch. Currently it's in the off position, but I'm going to go ahead and flip it to the on position. And we're going to go take a look at the front panel next. So before we press the on button, we're going to make sure that our five interlocks are connected on the front panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and press this green on button. So now that the 900EX is fired up, I'll go ahead and change the mode of the unit. Currently it's independent mode, so both channels will be operating separately. But I'm going to go ahead and switch it to parallel mode. Um, I'm going to go back to independent. And in order to change a voltage setting, for example, I'd press begin session. Then click on the volts tab. And I'm going to change my upper limit. This unit could do up to 900 volts, but I'm going to say 200 for my upper limit for this demonstration. And then press 200 here. And then I'm gonna press this start button. So now the unit is measuring 200 volts. I can also go to the current and adjust positive and negative current, kilowatts, or resistance. To stop testing, I'm going to press this button. Please make sure to reach out to ATEC if you have questions about test equipment rentals, sales, or calibration. You can visit our website at www.atecorp.com.